Hello, Bakra Nation, and welcome. It's Craig here again with a video just for you. We are going to be continuing on from the last video where we are going to be doing some more Super Bet 4. Going to be going deeper into exactly how it's played, how I'm betting, and the progressions involved, and, and what the bet selection is. So get yourself something to write with. You want to take some notes if you want to know what I'm doing for Super Bet 4. Let's get going. Okay, as last time was the low roller version, we're kind of amping it up a little. We're going to be going for the medium range player. Um, I'm going to be doing a bet, uh, bet progression of $10, $50, $100, $100, $200 will be the four bets, bets I will be placing. You will, if, if you should lose 16 in a row, the max you would lose doing this would be $1,440. So you at least need $1,440 to play with the starting bet of $10. All right, we are going to be playing on the RNG again. This RNG um, reshuffles all eight decks every time we deal a handout. So this is the simulation of going to playing hit and run, which I like to do. If you have enough tables, play one series on each table and move on. So basically with doing this RNG, you're simulating going from table to table to table, which I would still recommend. But I've also played it straight through. Um, the other RNG I like that plays a full shoe. Um, so I do it both ways, but um, we're gonna do it this way today. All right, starting balance is $3,600. We're going to try and take that we're going to go for a hundred dollar win today. Uh, so we want to get that up to 3,700. So our first bet selections will be, here's number one, write this down. Number one is player, banker, player, banker. Let's see what happens. We're going to start on the player or player, banker, player, banker. Oop, need a sound. There we go. All right, we won our first one. Oh, if by some chance we do really good, uh, I'm still going to go through the full um, bet selections to make sure so you get it all. So I wanna make sure you stay through to the end so you get all the bet selections if you wanna do the super bet four system. All right, we got a win on our first bet selection. So like I said, the first one's player banker, player banker. So now that we won that one, we're going to move to the second bet selection. Not as in the first one, this is a whole new bet selection. Number two, we're going to be betting banker, player, banker, player. So we just take our $10 and put it on banker. Let's see what happens. Okay, we lost that one. I'm marking a loss on that. And now we will continue on with that same bet progression of banker, player, banker, player. So our next one is player. So now we're just gonna, we're gonna stay on the same bet until there's a couple of different ways to do this, but typically after four losses, we will progress to the next level of betting. And we'll show this as we go along. Sometimes if you're close to where you were, you could drop back one, depending on what level you are, or just restart at base. <clears throat> but I'm sure we'll encounter some of this along the way. So now our second bet is on player. And we get a tie. So we're just going to rebet that. Blair wins. So we are done with that bet selection. We're going to go on to the third bet selection, which will be player, banker, banker, player. Now the last one was a, lose, a loss and a win. So that's basically a break even. So now we go to, we're going to still stay on our base bet of $10. Next one is player, banker, banker, player. Go on player. You get a tie. Repeat. And we lost that one. Now the next one is banker. Same, we're gonna keep the same bet there. And we win that one. Another lose win situation. So now we do not bet the last two that are on there, because as soon as we get a win, we move to the next progression of bets. Bet selection, I should say. So now we're on the fourth one. 
The fourth one is banker, player, player, banker. Banker, player, player, banker. So we're going to put $10 on banker. And we win. And we will note the balance. We are up now 36.19. And so now we won on our first bet. So now we disregard the last three bets. So we move to the next level. It's level five. Nice, really a level, but it's the next selection is number five. We're just going to be going right down the list and we can get to the end. We're going to start over. So number five is banker, 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 player. So we're going to go five dollars to I'm sorry, ten dollars to banker. And that was a loss. We're going to bet banker again. Still staying on the base bet. All right, it's two losses. Next is banker again, the third bet of the selection. Okay, banker wins that one. So now we've had two losses and one win. So technically we're down one. Because one win wipes out one loss. So we're down one. So we're going to keep track of that one loss. If we get two, four losses that way, I will then go to the next level up. If I lose four in a row, I will go one up. So there's kind of two ways to, to calculate that. So that's why you want to keep track of your wins and losses. And also you can see about your balance of where you are when you move up to the next level. If your next level is going to make you equivalent of being two or three down, you can adjust how many wins you need to get that way. Just keep track of what your balance and uh, what you're betting. You don't want to have to bet more than you need to. Okay, so now we won on the fifth one. So now we're going to number six. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number six is banker. Player, player, player. Banker loses. Now we go player. Player lost. And we go player again. The player wins that time. So we get one win and two losses. So I'm looking at about three losses down. I will go one more at this point before raising my level up. So we will go to number seven. Number seven on player. player wins and since that's going to put us down um, two units technically I mean we're still up but two units as far as the loss count I'm just going to stay at base bet and on number eight it's banker player banker 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 player banker banker so we're going to go ten dollars to banker player wins So now we go to player. That one loses. Okay, so at that point we're looking at four down. So I'm going to bump my bet up one level to $50. And we're going to bet banker. Optional, you could finish out the sequence at 10 and then go up, but um, being down four losses, cumulative, I'm going to bump it up on this bet. So, you got some leeway of how you can do it. So, $50 to banker. Good spot for that. He gets the win. And that puts us at 3636. So, New high, we will now drop back to base of $10. <clears throat> and that takes us to the ninth bet, ninth bet selection, which is the classic banker, 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 banker. All right. So we will make sure we drop back down. $10 to banker, 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 banker. Let's see how we do. 
and we get to win. And new high, 3646. The tenth bet selection is player, player, banker, player. Ten dollars on player. It's a loss. Player again. A win. So that breaks even, and we go to the next selection, which is number eleven. Number eleven is banker, banker, player, player. Number 11 is banker, banker, player, player. So we're going to go $10 on bank. Get a tie, so just rebet. We lost that one. Repeat the banker bet. So that's the next in the bet selection. And we win. Another break even. So it takes us to bet sequence number 12. Excuse me. Number 12 is player, 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 banker. Player, 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 banker. So $10 on player. And we win that one. Okay. Brrr, yep. New, another new high, 36.55 over the halfway point to our goal of getting to 3,700. So now we go to lucky 13. That selection is player, banker, banker, banker. We'll put $10 on player. Lose that one. Next is banker. Another loss, banker again. Uh oh, third loss. Okay, here we go. Look over this again. Yep, everything else is break even, so it's uh, three losses cumulative and three on the sequence. So let's see if we get shut out on all four bets here. Banker bet, <clears throat> and we do. Okay, lost four in a row, so that's an automatic bump up. We're gonna go back to $50 bets. And that'll be $50 on select bet selection number 14. 14 is player, player, banker, banker. So we're going to go $50 on player. Nice, nice spot for that. All right, we get the win. That's going to put us at 36.65, another new high. So this way, actually, it lets you grind it out more. It's a little slower pace than like your typical bet four. I'm sorry. Um, um, what am I thinking of? Go on, shout it out. You know what it is. Um, because I apparently don't. <laughs> I don't know, any of those other last four, last three, virtual two, bet five, bet six, bet two, one. <laughs> There's so many out there, I can't even keep them straight anymore. But anyways, this is super bet four. So let's keep that straight with the improved bet selection and bet progression. So let's carry on. That takes us to bet selection number 15. 15, make sure you write this stuff down, is the opposite classic. Player, 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 player. Going to back to back to base bet of $10 on player. Banker wins. That's a loss. Repeat the player bet. Tie, repeat. All right, there's a win. So that's a win loss, break even. So we go to number 16. Number 16 is, are you ready? Banker, banker, player, banker. Ooh, that one sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, banker for 10. Uh, 
Banker gets the win. And that raises a high up to thirty-six seventy-five. Twenty-five more dollars to go. So now at this point, I'm just going to jump all the way back to the first uh, bet selection, which is player banker, player banker. All right, we are at ten dollars going to player. It's a loss. Banker. Tie. Just rebet it. Here's the win. So a Lin, a Lin, Lin, lose one. Loss and a win is break even. And we are done with that because we got the win. Move on to bet selection number two, which is banker player, banker player. Stay in our base bet here for the banker. And we lost that. Go to player. Lost that one. Back to banker. Uh oh. Three losses. Let's see when we get the fourth one. It's going to be on player. Tie. Zero, zero tie. All right. What's it going to be? Another tie. Okay. Keep the suspense going. All right. Lost all four on that one. So you know what that means. We bump it up one level so now our bets are fifty dollars fifty dollars on the next best collection is player banker banker player so 50 on player <laughs> gotta like it gotta like it when it does that all right That'll put us at another new high, 36.84. Now we drop back down to base bet, which is $10. If you want the low roller version, check out the last video because I did a low roller version for you on there. So now, best selection four is banker, player, player, banker. So we're dropping back to base bet. Again, on this level where our bet selections are our bet, um, Bet amounts are ten, fifty, one hundred, and two hundred dollars. Basically, this is a Demp's version of betting. So always giving a shout out to Brian Dempsey for that. All right, here we go. Banker player, player banker. Ten dollars. Make sure you drop back down on bank. One loss goes to player next. And we get the win. A loss and a win is break even. So we go to bet selection number five, banker, 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 player. Banker gets the win. And a new high score. We are very close. 36.94. Trying to get to 3,700. Can we get it on the next one? That's selection number six. Banker, player, player, player. $10 on banker. Come on, bank. Nope. Take the loss. Now we go to player. Second loss, player again. Tie, rebet. Ooh, play, pull it off. All right. So that's going to put us one down. Go to number seven. 
seven best selection is player banker player player ten dollars on player oh nine nine tie nine nine how cruel hey but i like that all right oh 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 o'reilly no plugs for commercials <laughs> Okay, so basically that brings us right back to where we were at 36.94. So we are caught up going to level 8 bet selection, which is banker, player, banker, banker. So $10 to banker. Still trying to close this out at 3,700. And a tie. I'll make a drag it out here. There we go. All right, that's a win. That's that exceeded our goal. We're at thirty-seven hundred, so we won one hundred and three dollars there. And that's basically how I've been doing it. And uh, with Super Bet Four, with this bet selection and bet progression, and it's been working rather well. I keep going for about a ten-unit win every time I play, and I usually wind up with like a, you know eleven, twelve sometimes, depending on the last bet. But um. I've been shooting for 10 units each time. It's been working really, really well. So um, I like this. I like how it's working out. I like the bet progression and um, the bet selection. And it's a lot safer way than a lot of other versions I've seen out there. Uh, it in increases the randomness of um, avoiding four losses in a row while um, you're able to stay in longer and grind it out to get to the victory. And it's not like an excessive grind, so you know I don't know how long this took. It didn't take that long to make a hundred bucks, so that's not bad. So hope everyone's staying safe. Got a lot of weather going through the U.S. Uh, storms everywhere. Um, I know we got hit last night. Um, so um, if you can't get out, be safe. And um, so next time, Bakra Nation signing out.